welcome back to the second part of Renee's Garden Tour. I'm going to do a voiceover because there was a loud fan in the actual audio of the video. So this is what I refer to as the moon garden because all of the plants were white or cream. So the peony is called raspberry sorbet and it's a blush color. And then there is a rose bush that's next to it. Which I'm pointing at, and that is called Litchfield mm -hmm. Angel. And I see a balloon plant down there, and there's a bearded iris that's white. This is a hydrangea, and it's of all of them, it is doing the best. Um, I don't know if you can see these little things, but I think that's like what's gonna flower. It's got them all over. I'm really excited. I got it, and actually, I bought this one last year. I got it from Home Depot, it was really small, it got a lot of growth, but. This is the first year that it's bloomed. And so there's another peony. Um, I think this is, you know, I'm not sure if this is Litchfield Angel because I did get some other white ones, but I gotta spray it because it's got black spot. So then there's some white gladioles that are coming up. Uh, there's another rose. This is one of my new planters. Uh, there's some daisy, that's a Shasta daisy. I don't know why it's doing that. It should be a lot fuller. There's some lilies back there, and that, okay, that's a raspberry, and it's invading, and so I'm going to have to hardcore eradicate it, and it's going to be a problem. Uh, this, like I said, is raspberry, raspberry sundae. It's really pretty. Uh, when it's, we usually get lots during, it's usually hotter, and it kind of fades to a really light blush. This is Litchfield Angel. And uh, let's see. I don't remember if that's Claire Austin. I'm really Claire Austin's over there. Okay, so these plants right here, this is what's going in the ground. So I've got another strawberry hill that's going in the rose garden. I got tomorrow, which is going in the front yard. And okay, so this is the sweet tunia Miss Marble that's going in the pots, the four pots on the steps. Um, the rest of these are wave petunias. Um, anything that's white or whitish looking are going in the big pots. Um, those plants over there, those are stock and they're very fragrant. As a matter of fact, they gave me a headache. Um, I've got two tomatoes and those are going to go in my vegetable truck, which I have to pull out. And this is a phlox right here. And this is called Opal Innocence. I'm not like kind of sure what the kind of plant it is, but it's got these tiny, tiny little silvery pink, a uh, silvery purple tips. So there are two roses here. One of them, actually, I think it's this one right here. That's sentimental. And the other one I think is Claire Austin. And so that, they definitely need some fertilizer. Uh, they did apparently die back a lot during the winter. And this was Red Kaku, my white tree peony. And so that is a an azalea. Is, is this one called Delaware? I think it's called Delaware. Yes, Delaware Valley. And that is a lily. Here. Um, this is a vegetable garden, and I'm turning it over. Some of this one right here is called that's a begonia. It's not really doing well. And there's some coleus, and those are not doing well. I think they the sun may be too intense. Uh, this, on the other hand, lavender is doing great. Um, so there's different types. There's Spanish lavender, fern leaf lavender, and then English lavender. And so, um, for the rest of the summer, this is going to be my project. Back here, there was a garden. I'm taking it out. So I'm going to turn that over and just plant some grass seeds. Um, I got to dig out that clematis right there and... I gotta dig out all those gladioles too. Move it over. This is my mint, which I need to cut back because that's going looking a little crazy over there. Um, you know, there's actually four varieties in there. Theoretically, I think one choked the rest of them out. I think that's the. I think that's a spearmint. Yeah, I think that's a spearmint in there. It is nice when it goes to seed because it just attracts so many bees and butterflies. So let's go up this way. So that is one of the bearded irises. Uh, this is another one of a rose. Oh, 
which I need to spray. Yeah, you know, the roses are doing good, and then it's like the black spots that I'm... The nice thing about David Austin roses is they bounce back pretty well, so once I spray them, they'll, they'll recover pretty quickly. And this right here is... Let me see if I can zoom in on it. Okay, that is a ranunculus. Um, ranunculus in other parts of the country are, like, especially the warmer climates, like zone 8 through 10, are spring plants. But up here in zone 7, we have to put them in after uh, the frost. So they're, for us, they're like late summer plants. So um, there are assorted peonies, intersectional peonies, uh, snapdragons, a bunch of ranunculus. There's some lilies coming up. I don't, daylilies, I don't even know what kind of daylilies those are at this point because they didn't flower last year. And so, like I said, I'm going to work on, I have to work on this section. That rose is a uh, Princess Alexandria of Kent. And over here, we have roses. They're Munstead wood. There's some lavender in there. Um, I can see I made the bed shorter and I planted some grass seeds. I planted grass over here and it seems to be taking. This had been a bed, I turned it over. There is some stuff coming up here and I'm not really sure what it is. Um, some of it is weed, but like, oh, that, I think that's a dahlia. So I'm gonna have to move that. Um, I saw a peony and I saw this Mediterranean bell over here, which I didn't, the rest, I didn't even realize that was over here. Um, the rest of them didn't come up from the other bed. And that is pretty much it. Oh, there's a climbing hydrangea right there. And my hibiscus is coming back. I think that's mocha moon, but I don't quote me on that. Okay, so over here, I, um, the property boundary lines on the property were wrong. So using a survey, I marked out kind of where the boundaries are, and that's where I plant, planted these rhododendron. They lost all their leaves, and they're all starting to come back. Um, so they haven't bloomed. I'm kind of wondering if they, will they actually do a late flush? That would be kind of nice. And this is a mulberry tree, and it drops berries everywhere. Okay, and over here, these are azalea, and these bloom twice. They're called a fashion azalea. So the two in the center died this winter. It's unfortunate. But that's the way things go sometimes. And unfortunately, Lowe's does not have that again. Uh, so I retilled this over and I planted it with grass and white clover seed. It's doing well. Um, this over here on the side, this is an astilbe. I think that's how you pronounce it. That is another lilac. I actually had one of the dianthus I planted last year come back, and I'm pretty sure that that's supposed to be an annual. Go figure. Um, this really big rose bush right here is called James Galloway. It's like one of the only roses over here in my collection that gets hips on it, rose hips. Um, I'm not sure why, but it's really lovely. So I got more stilby. Uh, this is a rose called... In America, we call this Bathsheba. I think in Britain, they pronounce, pronounce it Bathsheba. It is a climber. It will get tall. I'm considering whether or not I want to rip that out. So anyway, we are back around the front. And let me turn this around. So that's it for this month. Um, obviously, next month, it's going to look different. I'm going to work on some projects in the back. And hopefully, when I do this again in June, it will look dramatically different. So thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.